Good afternoon, class. This is John Van Slyke, and I wanted to take a moment to check in with you folks, my online students this quarter in World History 126, or World Civilization 1. And we've been now at it for just a little bit over a week. We came to the end of our first instruction week, and I wanted to just take a little moment to take some inventory and in some ways give a little bit of a pep talk. Uh, I know that uh, there have been some students who've withdrawn from the class, which is actually fairly common in an online course uh, in the early going. Perhaps some students felt like uh, the work was a little bit more than they were expecting. Uh, although the courses I've designed it as part of a Quality Matters uh, course design, which is sort of the standard for online instruction. So you may have had an online course that maybe didn't have quite as much that you did each week, uh, but this is sort of the best effort that the college makes to try to make sure that the online instruction is every bit as involved and um, thorough as the instruction that you would experience in a face-to-face -face class. And having said that, I will tell you this, uh, one of the things that I like about an online course, a lot of students have told me this, is that they do feel like even though there is a little more self-starter work that you, the online student, have to make happen, that you do also have a little more control over your grade. Uh, in the course because you have a chance to demonstrate your skills on a fairly regular basis. So here we are, it's now Friday, so we're two days into week two, and I noticed as I looked at the grade book that about six of you have written essays, or I should say six of you wrote essays for week one, which means that four or so of you have not, and I want to make sure you don't establish that habit of not writing essays because that can really hurt your grade rather quickly. If you are confused or having trouble figuring out what it is that I'm expecting in your essays, uh, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to break that down for you. Uh, but also check in the module or the folder that is designated for uh, writing good essays. It's toward the top of our modules uh, in the course. In fact, here we are. It is right... Where is it? in this essay assistance folder. Okay, I have this actually in student view. So we've done, we've completed week one module, which means you have all participated. In fact, I think everyone but one of you has participated in the debate on civilization. Six of you have written essays, and most all of you, there might be one or two exceptions to this, have completed the chapter review. And it looked like in every case but one you folks did pretty well on that chapter review and I would encourage you to use your textbook read your textbooks and answer those questions because not only will it allow you to earn points uh, it will help solidify some of the other uh, areas of emphasis that are there in the debates or the discussions and the essay writing it'll also prepare you for your first exam which is coming up in another couple weeks so uh, encourage you to, to do that and take that seriously. So where are we now? Uh, we are now two days into our second module and so what that means, and I'm just trying to break this down so anyone who has gotten off to a slow start can start to uh, quicken their pace a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make sure, I do believe this module is already open and available to you, uh, but I'm going to make sure of that uh, momentarily. Uh, your first task this week is going to be to enter a discussion post uh, uh, regarding the arrival of the Aryans into the Indian subcontinent. Uh, that's probably starting to mean more to you if you've begun the reading and started to look into the supporting materials for your discussion assignment. Uh, also, by Sunday evening, I want you to submit your completed chapter review for Chapter 2. That means that you really will have needed to complete the textbook reading by Sunday evening to help you do the chapter review, and then that will serve you well, one, in completing your follow-up discussion posts, and then two, writing your essay. Of course, there will be some other elements that you'll draw upon for writing your essay. So in a word, that's where things are at. Uh, I am going to be momentarily sitting down with your essays and entering in a grade for your discussion for week one. My hope is to start getting you feedback on your essays so that uh, you can adapt any feedback that I have uh, for your week two essay 
assignment. And before I sign off, I just want to once again direct your attention here. Uh, these writing points, you're going to hear, you may very well see when I respond to your essay, I might in the column, in the right hand column, uh, indicate, uh, you know, write, consult writing point number two or writing point number three. Uh, and those are going to be things that are evident here. In fact, if I were you, I'd probably print out uh, these writing points just to have at the ready because these are really key points of emphasis that I call attention to. And by giving you these in advance, I am trying to save a little bit of time so that I can provide uh, useful feedback to your essays, but not useful feedback that takes me forever to communicate. So it's a little bit of my shortcut, and these are also areas where I think you can uh, make real strides as a writer, which is one of the things that I want to support you in becoming this quarter. All right, so there we have it. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, here we are. Uh, welcome aboard, and here's to a, a continued strong start uh, to our course together. Take care.